How's it going everybody? This is part-time pilot uh, continuing again continuing the video series on aircraft systems and the pedostatic system. Last week we talked about how the altimeter works. Today we're going to talk about how the airspeed indicator works. So if you watch my video on the pedostatic system you, I talked about the difference between pedo source and the static source. Now that difference I talk about right here. So the pedo source is going to get us total pressure. The static source is going to get us static pressure. The difference is this pressure called P of D, which is dynamic pressure. So in my video of the pedo static system, I use the analogy of you're sitting on an aircraft's wing and you're holding a jar into uh, facing forward. And when you're not moving on the aircraft, that jar if you cap that jar, inside that jar is going to be static air at static pressure. Now, if you're flying and you're sitting on that wing and you hold that jar up, one, it's going to be really hard to hold. But if you were able to and you were to cap it, that air in there is going to be pedo air or to at total pressure. And the difference of that, because that air is getting rammed in there, there's an extra pressure, that difference is this dynamic pressure. So mathematically... How does this relate to airspeed? Well, Bernoulli's equation tells us that the difference between static and total pressure is equal to dynamic pressure, but the dynamic pressure is equal to one half the velocity squared times the density. Okay, so this allows us to solve for velocity. Velocity equals the square root of 2 times the difference between total pressure, static pressure, over the density, rho. Okay, so how does this work in an airspeed indicator? The airspeed indicator isn't some calculator doing these equations. So the airspeed indicator uses another aneroid wafer or diaphragm right here and unlike the altimeter that took in static air this takes in pedo air so it's completely sealed and the only thing inside of it is the pedo air from the pedo probe so free stream air goes into the pedo probe into the sealed diaphragm now the airspeed indicator also uses static air. Static air goes into and surrounds this diaphragm. So, if the aircraft is not moving, our dynamic pressure, because velocity is zero, is zero. So, our total pressure is equal to our static pressure. So, the pressure inside the diaphragm here equal to the pressure outside. This diaphragm is not going to expand or contract. Now, when the pressure, when the velo when you are moving, that dynamic pressure is no longer zero. When it's no long, so dynamic pressure is greater than zero. This means, sorry about that. P of T equals something not zero. P of D. So now, P of T. Oops. Come on, P of T is greater than static pressure because of this dynamic pressure, which is non-zero and greater than zero. Okay, so what happens in the airspeed indicator is the total pressure inside the diaphragm is bigger than the static surrounding it. Okay, higher pressure wants to go to lower pressure, so the pressure inside this wants to get out. The air molecules want to get out into the static air, but it's completely sealed. So it exerts a force on the inside of this diaphragm pushing this diaphragm out and it expands. Now when this diaphragm expands as you increase your dynamic pressure and your velocity, it spins a gear system which spins the dial on the airspeed indicator giving you an airspeed reading. So when you speed up, so its velocity goes up, your dynamic pressure goes up, and your wafer expands and your airspeed goes up. 
when velocity goes down, dynamic pressure goes down, and your wafer is going to contract back, and your airspeed dial is going to go back down. And that is pretty much it. Um, the airspeed indicator doesn't do all the math, it just simplifies it using these wafers and the, the different to calculate the difference of the static source and the pitot source. Hopefully that made sense to all of you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're going to go over the vertical speed indicator next, and I have a lot more videos planned uh, that will hopefully help you on your journey to become a private pilot. And please uh, subscribe to me on Instagram as well, at part, period, time, period, pilot. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.